super cool funny videos. Good morning, super friends. I am here on my cruise ship, and I'm currently in Grand Cayman on my honeymoon with my newly person, new, my new, my new wife. And I don't know what I'm doing in front of a mirror. Today I want to talk about McDonald's, and is it good for you or is it bad for you? Now, it might be a little bit different than you think this subject usually happens, because yes, of course, there's tons and tons of stats and data that says that McDonald's is really unhealthy for you. However, uh, hold on. <sighs> Look at my beautiful wife, super friends. Today I want to talk about the economy and what McDonald's can actually do for a downtrodden economy. As you can see here, I'm in a beautiful island of Grand Cayman. So I don't actually want to talk about Grand Cayman. I want to talk about Belize. We were in Belize the day before yesterday and our tour guide was saying a few interesting things that made me get thinking about something. Things that made me get thinking about something. Now you can see here on the roads that this is actually considered the elite part of Belize and as you can see it's very it's very downtrodden and there's no sidewalks and there's floods and there's uh, starving dogs on the side of the road all all over the place and things just don't look necessarily as easy as it is over in the states or in other places like Grand Cayman and the, these are, like I said before, this is considered the elite part of Belize City where, you know, where the rich are. And these houses just are falling apart. They're put together by 15 other pieces of other houses or other things. And look at this graveyard. This graveyard is the main graveyard of Belize City. At least 2,000 graves on just this side of the street. On the other side of the street, it looks exactly the same thing except even more graves. It's astonishing to see this in the middle of a city and at this grand of a scale. As you've seen from the footage in Grand Cayman, they have a McDonald's and Burger King and they have Kentucky Fried Chicken. And you can tell how much more uh, abundant and the economy is doing uh, in this place, especially compared to Belize. So what I'm saying is Grand Cayman has a McDonald's and a Burger King and many fast food restaurants and it is thriving. It is doing nothing but growing. And in Belize, it's completely different. There's not a single fast food restaurant in the entire land of Belize, nowhere to be found at all. And it is having a real hard time feeding its people and keeping up with things because the lack of economy growth. So what are your thoughts? Do you think McDonald's could actually benefit a place like Belize in economy growth and making the place prosper and thrive? Or do you think it won't help at all? I'd like to hear what you have to think. Just post it in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you next week. Hey guys. I'm here to clean off the lens because I got some water in it while riding that boat. This won't hurt a bit. It'll only hurt me more than it will hurt you. Mr. Spot. Oh, there you go. Isn't that much better? <laughs> yeah. Click that subscribe button, soldier! Thanks.